Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today Pangu has released an updated iteration of their Pangu 8 Jailbreak utility to jailbreak iOS 8 through 8.1, completely untethered, and it now natively supports Mac OS 10 or OS X. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to jailbreak iOS 8.1 completely untethered using your Mac. And before we get started, there are a few things I wanted to mention, such as the supported devices. So Pengu for iOS 8 includes support for the iPhone 6 Plus, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5C, the iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, the iPad Air 2, the iPad Mini 3, the original iPad Air, the iPad Mini 2 with Retina display, the original iPad Mini, the fourth generation iPad, the third generation iPad, the iPad 2, and the fifth generation iPod Touch, which is what I'm going to be using to demonstrate with in today's tutorial. And of course, it supports all firmwares from iOS 8.0 to 8.1, including 8.0.1, but if you're on that firmware, I definitely recommend updating as long as you can. Once iOS 8.1.1 is officially released to the public, it will patch the Pangu jailbreak utility. So there will be an annotation on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube explaining that. But anyway, it does support 8.0.1, 8.0.2, and 8.1, the latest public firmware, as well as, of course, the first iteration of iOS 8. And for this jailbreak tutorial, you're not only going to need the latest iteration of iTunes downloaded, which I have installed on my Mac here, but you're also going to need Pangu 8 for iOS 8. And I will include a link down below in the more info that will contain a download link for Pangu for iOS 8. And now we're almost ready to proceed. This is probably the most important part though. If you updated your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, to the firmware that it's currently running using Apple's OTA or over the air software updatability or option, meaning you went inside of the settings app, general, and then software update, and you updated your device again to the firmware that it's on via this method, then you will most definitely encounter issues after jailbreaking with Pangu. You might not necessarily run into complications during the jailbreak process. However, after the fact, you will definitely experience oddities. So update now while 8.1 is still the latest public firmware. However, once 8.1.1 is issued, you will not be able to update because if you do, you will regrettably be locked out of jailbreaking because again, it does patch the untethered Pangu jailbreak utility. So if 8.1 is the latest public firmware when you're watching this video, I highly recommend going through the following procedure. Plugging your device into your computer via standard USB cable, launching iTunes, creating a backup of your device, restoring to 8.1, jailbreaking using Pangu, and then restoring from your backup once you have everything and once everything's completely set up properly. That is, of course, the only method that I do certify. And when your device is restored to 8.1, just set it up as a clean install, meaning you can just go through the on-device setup process, just enter your Wi-Fi network, and that's pretty much it. Everything else can be set up later, of course, because you will be restoring from the backup that you created inside of iTunes. So if previously you updated to iOS 8.1 using iTunes, then you should be good to go. You're just going to have to disable a couple of things inside of the settings app. So let me walk you through those really quick. And it's just for the jailbreak process. You can enable them after. So inside of settings, you're going to need to go to the passcode option and you're going to have to completely disable it. As you can see, mine is already disabled because it gives me the option to turn it on. So passcode currently is turned off. You're also going to need to turn off Find My iPhone or Find My iDevice inside of the iCloud portion of the settings app. So if you had it set up, it would be kind of toward the bottom here, but because I'm not logged into an iCloud account, I don't have Find My iDevice set up. So just disable both of those things again, passcode and Find My iDevice. And then after they're disabled and only once they're disabled, you can continue. All right, now you can plug your device into your computer via standard USB cable and launch iTunes. Ensure that iTunes iTunes does recognize that you have your device connected and if you do receive this prompt asking you to trust the computer from the device then you're going to need to do that. So as you can see on my iPod touch here I do receive a trust prompt. You're going to have to trust the connection on both the device and the computer itself and then you can open up iTunes and if iTunes verifies that your device is connected meaning you do see your device as you can see it says iPod touch there then I can continue. So let's go ahead and 
and close out of iTunes now. We no longer need it. It served its purpose. It's established the connection between the device and the computer. Let's go ahead and open up Pangu 8 now, and it should instantly recognize the device. Also, if you do receive a prompt stating that you cannot open Pangu, you're going to have to open up system preferences. That's likely because you have strict app settings inside of system preferences. So just click on the little lock to modify the settings, input your password, and then allow applications to be installed from anywhere. And then you can open up Pangu and it will work for you. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and readjust things really quick and I'll be right back. All right, so here we are. We have a very clean interface inside of Pangu. My iPod Touch fifth generation is connected. It does recognize it. As you can see, it says iPod 5.1 with iOS 8.1. Now, remember, you're going to need passcode as well as find my iPhone disabled and then enter airplane mode. So once you're connected, just bring up control center and toggle on airplane mode. And then you can go ahead and click the start jailbreak option and it will just go over what I've already highlighted so far so I'm just going to click the button to continue and it's going to go through the jailbreak process so here we go guys it's jailbreaking the fifth generation iPod touch on iOS 8.1 this should be a relatively quick process especially considering the fact that this is a freshly restored iPod touch so let's go ahead and wait for it I'm going to leave it up on the screen here just so you guys can see approximately how long it should take again though it may vary for you depending on your device as well as your computer And as you can see inside of Pangu, it says that it's jailbreaking the iPod Touch now. It's crucial that you don't interface with your device during this process, meaning don't unplug it and don't press either the power, lock, home, or volume buttons. And inside of Pangu, it says that it's doing the final cleaning. It should reboot after it finishes this stage. So just let it do its thing. Okay, now it says jailbreak succeeded and the iPod Touch is rebooting. So once it comes back up, we will have two things. We will have the Pangu app and we will also have Cydia, which will allow us to install third-party tweaks. So I'm just going to leave the iPod Touch up just so you guys can see the reboot process, which again, shouldn't take too long. But once it does reboot and once we are at the lock screen, I'm going to show you guys that I do have Cydia. All right, so iPhoto has detected it as well as iTunes. I'm just going to close out of iPhoto right now. All right, and here we go. We are at the lock screen now. I'm going to slide to unlock and swipe over. And as you can see, we do indeed have Cydia. So now open up Cydia and let it reorganize the file system. This may take some time, just let it do its thing. It will respring once it's complete. It is crucial that you don't exit out at this stage and that you don't do something else or even reboot your device. That is extremely important. Let it prepare the file system. And once it's finished, it will respring and you will be good to go. And then from there, you can open up Cydia and of course, browse and download your favorite packages. So I'm going to leave it up so you guys can see how long it should take, but again, it will vary for you depending on your device. So let's go ahead and wait for it.
Okay, and there we go. We have the Apple logo. It did respring. It will be up really quick. It's actually a lot faster than a full-fledged reboot. Okay, so here we are sliding to unlock. Let's go over to Cydia and I'm going to open it up and show you guys down below at the bottom that Cydia does indeed confirm that this is a fifth generation iPod Touch running iOS 8.1. But before I do that, it is important that you go down below to the bottom to the changes section and then tap refresh in the upper left hand corner. It will go and it will grab all of the available data and if you have any packages that need to be updated before installing anything, then I definitely recommend doing so as it will ensure that you don't encounter any issues. So if you have any essential upgrades, be sure to install those immediately. Again, it is crucial to the success of your device's jailbreak. So as you can see, because I don't, we can continue. I'm going to go back to the Cydia tab and we're going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to show you guys that of course Cydia confirms this is an iPod Touch fifth generation, all right? So as you can see at the bottom, again, it does say iPod 5, comma 1, iOS 8.1, Cydia 1.1.16. So again, you do know that this iPod Touch is successfully jailbroken. We have Cydia, and if I wanted to, I could install any of the available packages. I'm just randomly scrolling through here just to show you guys that, of course, I can tap on install in the upper right-hand corner. Let's just search for activator really quick. I'm just going to unplug the iPod touch really quick. We don't need it plugged in. We actually haven't needed to have it plugged in for a while now, but it's always safe to err on the side of caution. So I have activator here and I'm just going to install it just so I can show you guys that it does indeed install successfully. So it's running through right now and it will fully install activator for use on this fifth generation iPod touch. Let's go ahead and wait for it. All right, here we go. Let's restart the springboard. And once the device comes back up, we will of course have activator. All right, so sliding to unlock. As you can see, I do have activator up here now and I can set custom triggers and actions. So as you can see, Activator fully works and I can tap through the various settings inside of the Activator app. And if you want more information on Activator, be sure to check out my Top Tweaks video. All right, and guys, that's pretty much it for this jailbreak tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. And if it helped you jailbreak your iDevice running iOS 8 through 8.1 using your Mac, then just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comments have been posted, if you're interested in earning paid apps and gift cards, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or freeapplife.com inside of mobile safari after tapping download if you're on ios 8 press the home button open the app and download and install the temporary secure profile which is actually never fully installed on your devices it's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated from there simply download sponsored apps for points refer friends for even more and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes all right and that's it for this tutorial guys again i really do hope it helped you jailbreak using pang Pangu 8. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new jailbreak tutorials or update videos, especially concerning iOS 8.1.1, of course, the jailbreak patching firmware, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Also, if you're on the main page for this video, click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to do so. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.